This is our next grater tool. So this is like your regular box grater, cheese grater. Um, again, another great tool if you're not as comfortable with your knife or you wanna wash your knife. Um, this is a great way to make this sort of hash. So if you have like a potato hash in the morning, we're gonna do almost like a sweet potato hash. Um, and it's gonna all con combine together in a really nice portable device, which is easy for you to take to class in the morning. Perfect. I'm sure. So You're that's, be that's perfect. You're the envy of all your classmates good. if you that's, show up with your sweet yeah, potato yeah, breakfast okay. taco. So good. Put that. So good. Ryland grated just a bit of this potato. This yes. is a big sweet potato. Um, yes. and so you don't big. need too much. No. Okay. What's great again about the sweet potato, um, when it's whole, you can, you know, Keep it on top of your textbooks. Wrap it up, put it in the fridge. Yeah. And then once yeah. you cut it, then it's going to go in the fridge. Yes, but otherwise, exactly. you know, you don't need too much space. And, you know, one giant sweet potato is going to last you quite a bit. And we didn't bother peeling it, right? No. Because we it. want that skin. That's yes. where a lot of the fiber is concentrated. Absolutely. So I'm going to do one. Ryland, you're going to do one. Perfect. Uh, and what we do is we have, so for this one, you're going to need a little bit. We're upgrading from the tea kettle. <laughs> awesome. More equipment. We've got a hot plate. Um, yes. Now, I know in some places they allow you to have a hot plate. Yes. Um, some places they don't, but from what you were telling me, the induction yes. Yes. single burners um, yes. are a lot safer and they so they're, they're acceptable yes. in a lot of the dorm rooms. So induction, if you don't know, this is actually induction here. Um, it actually uses magnets to heat up uh, your pan. Uh, what's amazing about it and the safety yes. feature is it only heats up the pan, it doesn't actually heat up the surface. So if you don't have a pen activating those magnets on there, it shuts off. They will not generate any heat. Um, so that's why it's great to have in your dorm room. And it's yes. great to have even if you don't want to turn on the whole stove and if maybe you're cooking for one, yeah. um, those induction burners, and they're a lot more reasonable now, uh, you can find them, they're very, very convenient. And when you don't okay. have a lot of space, they're super thin. Yes, yes, yes exactly. Uh, okay, so sweet potatoes are gonna go into a hot Perfect. pan. Yes. We know our pan is hot? Yes. Either yes. like that, hot. <laughs> or this is a lot easier. Just throw in a little okay. bit. Once you hear that sizzle, sizzle. Awesome. so we're using yes. your ears here. We know it's ready to go. So good. just take a good handful okay. right in there. I'm going to go into mine. And the key is, yes, yeah, spread it yes. out thin. The key to a nice crispy hash is you don't want to overload the pan with ingredients. Uh, you need a lot of that moisture. Sweet potatoes are how much water? Like a ton. Probably like 80 to 90% water. That's where you go. Yeah. So we, we, there for we sure. need space for that water, for that steam yes. to sort of escape, right? So we're going to spread that out a little bit. Perfect. It's like if you guys have ever roasted vegetables in the oven. Yes. Or you've yeah. tried to make kale chips or anything yes. like that. If you pile them on top of each other, what happens? It just gets soggy and it becomes a mess. Yeah. yeah. Soggy mess, exactly. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it. by spreading it out, you get that crispy, Good. crispiness, which is awesome. going to be delicious. Yes, All it right. is. And we're going to season this really simply. Just a little pinch of salt over top. That's perfect. A little pinch of salt over top. And then uh, another good. good spice to have on hand. Awesome. Again, I think you're going to have this yes. covered. Uh, this yes. is smoked paprika. Yes. Smoked paprika, again, one of our favorites to add. Um, it has a ton of flavor. Uh, without any heat. So if you're not yeah. a fan of spicy food, uh, this is more of a smoky sort of flavor and aroma. And it goes really, really, really well with sweet potato. Definitely. And I think it goes really, really well for mornings. Absolutely. So just give it a good dash of that. Yum. Perfect, and the same. Good. Fantastic. And I'm gonna good. turn this up okay. just a little bit. Now, to get it crispy, you don't want to over stir, right? Yes, yeah. So, what we're looking for here is uh, we're trying to keep an eye on the edges to see as soon as they start to darken, you get a really nice caramelized brown. Yes. Um, yeah. The sweet potato, because it's grated, is not going to take long no, to cook at all. No, not at all. But we want some texture, some color, like yeah, some crispiness. About, yeah, some yes. crispiness. So, we're going to wait uh, just until it starts to caramelize a little bit. That's a good tip, too. If you want to cook something faster, like your veggies, yeah. cut it smaller, right? Yes, yes. If you definitely. stick the whole sweet potato in the oven, it's gonna take- About an hour, I'd say. A good hour yeah. versus we're gonna do this in a few minutes. Yes, yeah. exactly. Absolutely. So this is, you know what? We'll just give it a little stir here. So sure. I've got a really nice caramelized brown. You can go I'll ahead too, here. Ryland. Yeah, just, sure. just run through it with that spatula. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, really, really nice smell. Perfect. And then with that sweet potato, 
what we want to do is try to pile it all in the middle. Okay. So we're going to create almost like a little cradle for our egg to sit a in. A little nest. Yeah, a little <laughs> nest, exactly. Perfect. Look at that. Very good. good Fantastic. Job. Thank you. Good. Perfect. And then good. just create like a little dent. Even, even more, go. so you can see a little bit of that pan. Okay, so eggs in, eggs in. Looking good. Uh, last thing is we're gonna put the lid on top. And Perfect. the sweet potato has some moisture, but this is sort of a good trick to cook, like a nice over easy egg and you wanna get the top nice and cooked, is use a lid. Instead of fumbling around to try to flip it and get both sides, you can break the yolk. Break the, yeah. Use the lid, use steam to your power. So we're gonna add just a little bit of water in there. And now that steam is gonna trap. Absolutely, and cook the egg you on top, it. yes. Genius. You got it. Love it. I'm gonna do the same to mine. Go all the steam out. I know, I, your steam is escaping. <laughs> yeah. I ran out of uh, notes, so I'm pen. <laughs> hey, in your dorm, you have to be creative. That, that's Use it, you what know? you have, right? Absolutely. Um, okay, and then topping. So we have a sweet potato egg, really, really nice. Yes. This is sort of a next step, uh, if you want, uh, is our avocado. Here we are. So this delicious. is the avocado. I think avocado is fantastic, delicious. Uh, obviously, we think of tacos, you think yeah, of avocado. avocado. Your good, um, healthy fat. And there's a great little trick to, to sort of opening up, yeah. peeling that avocado. Uh, Ryan, I know you know yes. how to do it, so I'm gonna let you teach yeah. the class I do. On how to open Usually up Usually you probably use a bigger knife, but it, it worked either way, worked very well. All you wanna do is go along the outside of the avocado without cutting your hand, keep in mind. <laughs> yeah, you can do it on the cutting board too, even. Yeah. There we go. Now all you do is twist, and you take the knife, and as carefully as possible, Small knife, but you got it. There we go. Shoot out. Perfect. There we go. So Expert. Riley's confident yes. in that, and so you can see he knows what he's doing. <laughs> if it's your first time, what I would suggest is actually do it right on top of the cutting board, and you can do it the exact same way. Knife in, and just use the cutting board to sort of let it roll, exact same way. Twist, and then stab it in the cutting board. And twist. Absolutely. Really, really simple. You got That's it. Right. Great tip. The yes. pit is Very great for helping any guacamole yes. you make. Keep yeah. the pit in yes. there. Good. Great one. You just cut so what I do, you know what I do? Actually, it's even quicker. Yeah. Just squeeze okay. it. Perfect. Right in. Okay. There Less we go. dishes to De clean. Definitely. Right? Yeah. You don't need to scoop it out with a spoon. I already have the knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's true. All right. This is gonna help us absorb those antioxidants. Yes, it is. Our vitamin A. And this is a balanced breakfast. You're not going to end up getting hungry because you have your protein and your fiber and healthy fats all together. Absolutely. Versus eating some cereal and milk. Or a McDonald's Or a McDonald's sandwich. sandwich. Yes. yes. True. This is a, a way better option. All right. So good. give Looks it just good. a quick smash. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe with smash. Fork. Yes, absolutely. Inside, I'll take get rid of this. All right. And this is, that's what you get like your, your roommate to do. <laughs> Always, you know? If your roommate wants to eat, yeah, they have to help out. That's exactly, exactly. Absolutely. Isn't it delicious? You smell that sweet potato. <laughs> yes. Definitely. You'll get some willing helpers, I'm sure. Absolutely. And you can top, we have like a little bit of queso fresco, which is sort of like a, a fresh farmer's cheese. Uh, you can add that. Even a little onion if you want. We're gonna make this pretty simple. It's good. <coughs> Looks awesome. Good. Yeah. Okay. It can be okay. nice and chunky. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Lid off if you don't good. mind, Riley. Yes, absolutely. Ta-da! Perfect steamed egg. Egg is done. Egg looks perfect. Over easy. Good. And we're gonna put this onto our taco here. Uh, this is, yeah, not your typical breakfast, right? No. Better than your usual. Is the yolk broken? The yolk isn't broken. The yolk is not broken, no. So, because the top is sort of steamed from that liquid, um, it cooks that, the white on top. And you yes. can cook it all the way through if you like more of a fully cooked egg. I don't know where the question came from, so I'm just looking into this area. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there we are. Hello, everyone. Uh, but this... Yeah, so if I took like a fork to this, it would 
definitely be really nice and oozy and gooey. And uh, I like that's like why that. I like yes. Yeah, I don't know how you like it, but and there we go. We'll put a little lime. We'll put a little bit of that queso on top. Yum. And then if you want to get a nice little piece of chunk Absolutely. of avocado, on there. I'll put some avocado. Got some onion on here. Oh yeah. That looks amazing. And you can, if you don't like over easy, I mean, prepare it any way you like. You can even scramble up that egg a little bit, put it in there. If you like more of a scrambled egg. Beautiful. This Good. is perfect. Breakfast. Divine breakfast. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, even. Fantastic. Awesome Thank you.